What's up? What's up, everybody? Just making a quick video. Recently, I've been heavy into fishing, like everybody else, learning here and there. Stuff that works, doesn't work for my area. Regardless, like most people, tight budget. That being said, sometimes I get curious about things. And I was curious about this reel. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's a DL1000. That's what it says here on the box. Sorry about the focus. Seem to not be able to ever get these things to focus. So anyway, 511 gear ratio, 13 plus 1 BB ball bearings. Line capacity 0 0.18, 245, 0 0.20, 200, 0 0.25, 125. So 2 pound 220, 3 pound 165, and 4 pound 150. Now, realistically, this reel is lightweight. It does have some plastic parts here. You know, but as far as performance wise, very smooth. Drag is really good. And it holds up well. Very light, super comfortable, durable handle. I like the oversized little grip on there. It's really nice. I'm not a professional fisherman. I'm not an expert. But truth be told, I got this and they had a coupon that day on Amazon and it was 15 bucks. For 15 bucks, well worth it. I've caught a few bass on it. About maybe 2 2 pounds, two and a half. Bunch of fish. I've snagged up a few times on the rocks. Yanked it hard. Didn't destroy nothing. Drag didn't mess up. Held up perfectly well. Comes with two spools. Figuring one's for braided, but I use mono on this. I like mono. It comes with another spool. So it comes with two spools. You know, and it's a reel. It's not much to be said. It's a reel. It works very good. But yeah, for 20 bucks, if you're looking for an inexpensive reel that holds up or just an inexpensive reel to throw on a fishing pole for a kid or just for a spare reel. For the price, it works very well. Lightweight, great construction. Haven't had no issues with it. No grinding, no squealing. Gotten snagged plenty of times. Didn't destroy the drag. Caught plenty of fish on it. And it just works great for the price. Of course, got to see in the long run how long it's going to last for, but... For the moment, perfectly pleased, nice, lightweight, budget reel that actually works. I have it set up on a Berkeley cherry wood, uh, ultra light. Because that's how I like to fish, and for what I catch, it works for me. Five foot, because I like a shorter pole, because where I fish, longer pole doesn't help much, because I hit trees. So you're looking at about 22 for the pole, 15 that I paid for the reel. Right now they're 20. It's not a bad little combo, and it's not a bad little reel. Works very well. It's held up fine. Got a couple scuff marks, so the finish does wear, especially the way I fish and I put it down. But performance-wise, it works for the price. If you're looking for something inexpensive for a spare reel, backup reel, something for the kids, 20 bucks throw it on a fishing pole you're good to go also on here i have the hive is um yellow or hive is green cast king four pound mono it's a cast king four pound mono honestly out of all the monos i've used which i prefer monofilament i don't really not into braid to be honest about all the monofilaments I've used so far, Cast King, low memory, low stretch, 
very strong and very inexpensive. Grab that off for Amazon too. So this DL1000 setup with the four pound test Berkeley cherry wood ultralight. Been doing its thing, catching me some fish, and it's been very enjoyable and good for my budget. Like I said, once again, thank you for watching. I'll put a link down below for the reel.